I've done it again. I bought some art supplies from auction. So hello, if you're new around here, my name is Katie. I'm a full-time sketchbook artist and I use mixed media. So it means I use a lot of art supplies and I love buying them secondhand. So today I'm sharing an auction art supply haul. I have filmed one of these on my channel before, which I'll leave up in the cards, but basically it's generally where art supply stores get rid of their stock. So sometimes they'll be closing down and so all of the stock will go to an auction house. The auction house will then split it all into different lots and you can bid on them. I did get quite a lot of questions last time of where to go, so I'll leave a link down below in the description box. But I do have help from my dad, who is, I would say, a pro when it comes to the auction houses. He saw this lot and asked if I was interested, but I have to say this is the last time I'm doing this because my art studio needs a really big organisation. I am 100% running out of room, and obviously there's only so many art supplies I can use. So there's quite a lot in this box that I'm really excited to share with you, and some of this will also be for my art retreat. So I'm really, really excited to share that I am hosting an art retreat with my wonderful friend TJ. So it's a mixed media art retreat in Portugal next May. It's six days long with four full days of art. We're going to be using mixed media and encouraging you to use your sketchbook in a really collaborative way and just have a lot of fun. We'll be doing so much drawing. I can't wait. And obviously I want to take a lot of supplies with me. So that's a very brief overview. I'll leave a link down below in the description box if you want to come and join us and paint with me on location in the beautiful region of Portugal that we're going to be in. And yeah, I'm going to need a lot of supplies. So first off, I feel like this has gone on an incoherent ramble already, but let me show you the box. I'm going to have to do a cutaway because it's too heavy to lift. But I do have the invoice. Because it is secondhand, it's usually cheaper. They're trying to like sell it in bulk. So obviously there will be some boxes and lots that I wasn't interested in, but this one specifically I was really keen on because of the gouache. So the hammer went down at £65. The auction house takes a commission of £15.60. So it was quite a lot cheaper than last time with shipping. It was only £15. So the total was £95.60 for all of this art supplies. And considering what's in there, it's an absolute bargain. Really, really chuffed. So without further ado, let me start just pulling some stuff out of the boxes and show you what I bought. Okay, so there's quite a lot in here that are duplicates. So obviously because it was an art supply shop, it means that there's multiple things. So they won't have sold them all. So it's not like one artist is getting rid of all of their supplies. It's coming from a shop, which also means a lot of it will be unused. Some of it isn't. Um, but generally I find that if it's sealed, then art supplies last really, really well. So I don't have any issues going for older stock. It generally means that the packaging is a little bit older, but usually the art supply itself is in good nick. So first up, we've got some soft pastels. This is by the brand Nouvelle, which I haven't heard of, but there's two sets of these, 24 in each. Oh, there's a couple that might be used here. I mean, they're not like super clean and super neat, but there's only a few that I can see of got a little bit blunt on the ends. Let me check the other box. Again, they're a little bit dirty. Obviously, they've been stored a while, they've been in transport, they've been knocked around. There's one blue one, which clearly was a favorite. This one is just a little nub. Um, but most of them, again, look brand new. There's a couple that have been used, but I don't really mind. One of the reasons I love secondhand is giving them a second lease of life, and I can pass these on if I'm not going to use them as well. So I feel like, there's no point having it in the drawer if you're never going to touch it. Art supplies are made to be used, so I feel like it's just a nice thing to do to keep up that cycle of art supplies, especially as a mixed media artist. Okay, next up is a brand I recognise. This is De La Rowney, some oil pastels for artists. So I, again, I don't really know if these are student grade or professional grade. There's two boxes, again, 24 of each. Let's have a little look. Okay, yeah, these look brand new. There's a really nice range of colour there, so proper rainbow. These are all a little bit dirty too, but they aren't used, so I can see that they haven't been touched. You've got the labels down below at the bottom, which is really nice. Oil pastels isn't something I use a lot, but they do do really nice like resist techniques, and I find them fun to play with. So again, I think that will be something handy to take with me on the art retreat. Okay, we have this <laughs> mishmash of supplies in this bubble wrap. Let me open it up and show you. 
I'll do a cutaway as well so it's not quite as noisy but there's some paint brushes here always always helpful as a painter and a mixed media artist and there's also some pencils these are chunky pencils so these are Conte pastel pencils so if you saw my last supply haul from auction I did get some pastel pencils in that as well so these ones are loose they're just sort of jumbled together in this piece of bubble wrap but there's also some other pencils so we've got some Prismolo made by Karen Dash. They're a really good brand. I love Karen Dash products. It's a bit of a mismatch, but I love getting stuff like this because it's like the surprise. Again, there is a risk when you're buying from an auction house that there will be stuff that you don't necessarily need or use, but I'm fine to pass those on. Like I say, I'll be doing a giveaway and sharing them with other artists. I find it it's like the thrill of it. It's very fun to see what you're going to get because the auction house won't necessarily list every single thing. They're not artists. They won't necessarily know what's there, but obviously they'll list the main stuff. But you're always going to get extra things thrown in generally from what I've seen and what my dad has seen. And I think this is really helpful with all the brushes. There's also a ruler, which I mean, I've bought two lots from auction now and there's always a ruler in there and there's always a pencil sharpener, which I've seen is loose. If you've seen my videos before, you know I've got my jars of pencils in all the colours, which is really useful to dip into, so I don't mind that they're loose and not in a box either. Okay, here is that uh, pencil sharpener. This doesn't feel like a professional grade artist pencil sharpener. I'm going to pass this on to my niece. There's also this little um, jar, plastic jar. This is by Derwin. That's quite a recent logo, I think. I thought this was a pencil sharpener, but it's actually for grating. It's got a grater on top, so I presume that's for pastel shavings, I presume. I guess you can grate it off and use it as like a powder. Generally, I'll reach for my pan pastels if I'm doing that with um, a sponge. But that's interesting. It's clearly never been used. It looks brand new. Okay, then we've got some more soft pastels. This feels quite light. Let's see if there's any in here. This is by Rowney. It is sealed. This is the, it says it's for artists. There are 12 in there and it's the portrait set. So let's have a look. Because it's sealed, it does generally mean that it hasn't been touched. So that's always a good sign. Uh -huh. Okay, these look quite old. The packaging looks quite dated. That's, again, these art supply stores that are getting rid of their stock by auction will probably have art supplies from years and years ago that maybe haven't sold. So there's a good range in here, yellow ochre, Burnt Sienna. There's another yellow ochre there. Oh, they're in tints, that's why. So I can see why this is a portrait set. The green is a bit random, but I guess that could be used for like undertones. There's some really nice softer colours, which are definitely my kind of colours. I don't know how these will be to use, so I'm not going to swatch everything in this video because I feel like this video is going to be long enough. But yeah, really nice colours there. It's nice to see a portrait set in pastels. Okay, this reminds me of school. There are some yellow pencils here. These are by the brand Oriole. It says it's real wood. There's maybe 12 in there. Let's have a look. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in there. But these are completely brand new. Again, this will be helpful for art supplies for teachers or something. So I can pass some of this on to schools or for our art retreat. I feel like that will be helpful as well. And when I do my big organisation of my art studio, if there's art supplies I definitely won't need or use in the future, then I will be passing that on to a school uh, or a preschool, depending on what the supplies are for them to use and have fun with. Oh, some Derwin ink tents. I love Derwin ink tents. I've got a couple of videos on my channel showing how to use them, including the pencils and the blocks. And these are the pencils, so that's really fun to see. Okay, so they look like they're a little bit water damaged on the tips, but they definitely don't look like they've been sharpened or used. One of the tips I got when I shared my art supply haul in the past, the other auction one, was to sharpen the pencils when you get them, because sometimes they will have something like a film on the nib. They won't be as fresh as obviously when you buy them brand new. I feel like these will tidy up really nicely. There's a really lovely range here. I really like the Ink Tents range. I'll leave a link to those videos if you're interested, but if you're looking into water soluble pencils, then the Ink Tents range is definitely one I recommend. I feel like this is gonna be super handy. I do have a full set, which I was very kindly sent by Darren when I was working with them last year. But again, this will be helpful to take with me for people to try on the retreat as well. I think I'll need to take another suitcase for all of the art supplies I want to use on our six day trip. Okay, we've got a little Winsor & Newton. This isn't in its packaging. It's a watercolour set, it definitely has been used. There are a few here that haven't been used, but there's a really nice range of colours here. 
It's interesting to see this layout as well. So there's some bigger ones. I feel like this will be easily customized. So I can swap out this very well-loved green for a different green. I totally relate with that. Greens are always my most used colors. But as someone who is getting into watercolor and really enjoying it, this is gonna be really helpful too. I feel like I can swap and change with some other colors as well. So there is one here that looks a little bit like crystallized. So we'll have to try and clean that up. But again, really nice to see. I like getting pre-loved ones because I know it's had a life before me and like we're just extending it by using it again. There are some more of the Nouvelle pastels here. So another two sets. I will definitely need to pass these on because I don't generally use that much soft pastel and I feel like this will be helpful for like art classes and stuff for schools. Okay, here's some more. <laughs> these are by Conte Paris, so some more pastels. These definitely look more used, so there's a few here that are broken into many pieces. I don't know whether that's just in transport, but you can see that the sponge is definitely old, so the sponge is definitely perished, but I reckon the pastels will still be able to be used. I'll have to do a sort out of this one because it feels very delicate and I feel like I've got to be really careful by when I'm touching this. Okay, I've forgotten how much stuff was in this box. So this is Faber-Castell Polychromos Albrecht Dura Pit. So let's have a look in here. Okay, this is just the tin. It isn't Albrecht Dura in here, it is Prismalo. So similar to the pencils that were in that bubble wrap package, there are some pencils here. So these are like really nice pencils. I don't know the Prismalo, but they do have a little brush. So I'm presuming these are water soluble pencils. There's a few shades of blue, some browns and a couple of greens and a gray. So not like a really wide range of, or selection of colors. And some of them have definitely been used because they're shorter than the others. But I think that will be really helpful for people who want to try water soluble pencils. Just like last time, there are some DVDs. I don't use DVDs. If you're interested in these, now we'll see if there's any correlating books, but this is what I did last time where I asked if anyone was interested just to let me know and I can get you a little postage quote, but I won't expect money for these. But we've got Watercolour Simplified with Pat Weaver, Brush Up on Watercolour, 10 Top Essential Tips for Watercolour Artists, and then Charles Reed's Watercolour Solutions. Now, generally, as if you saw last week's video, you'll know that I love YouTube and Skillshare for learning things, so I won't use DVDs. I don't even have a DVD player because I just love the internet and how available these things are. But if you're interested in these DVDs, then let me know. Wait, I think this is separate. Okay, I'm going to caveat this video by saying these might be two separate lots that I've put into one box, so... If that's the case, I'll put a little thing here because I'm pretty sure I didn't get all of this for that price. So let's presume it is two lots. So we've also got the hammer went down at £40, the premium was £10.08. Then there's an internet surcharge for £1.20 and VAT on top of that. So the total was £51.52 on top of the other price, which is this because I don't like doing maths. Um, so I feel like there's definitely two lots of art supplies here. It's been a while since I got these, so that's just my bad, but I mean, still an absolute steal, but that feels a bit more right to me. I don't think that this was all one lot. Obviously the auction house don't know much about art supplies, but they're not stupid, so. There are a lot of loose gouache here. Um, some really nice colors I can already see I don't have in my collection. I use gouache a lot, it is my comfort zone paint and I really enjoy using Winsor Newton. So we have got Winsor Newton Designers Gouache in Viridian, Van Dyke Brown, Sap Green, that sounds right up my street, Cerulean Blue, Cobalt Blue, Permanent White, Raw Umber. There are also some Rowney Designers Gouache color. This one is Sky Blue. These ones are bigger as well. These ones are 22 mil, whereas these smaller ones are 14 mil. So we've got the Brilliant Green, sky blue and then there's also a spectrum yellow so some really big tubes of gouache these feel quite soft as well which is good to see sometimes older gouache do dry up so you need to be careful when you're buying them but if they're softer then it generally means air hasn't got in so that's a really good sign and then there's also this random little guy which is a Caran d'Ache tempura poster paint so that sounds like oh it does say it's gouache this is in the color carmine so I haven't tried this brand before, so that will be interesting to use. But some just loose gouache paints in this box. 
and I was holding it up on some pastel paper. I also find that they will bulk it up with some paper pads as well, so I think this second lot included all the loose paints, the paint brushes, the DVDs, and then these sketch pads. So this is a pastel one, this is by Canson. Yeah, just like other pastel paper pads, it's got that sheet that kind of protects the pastels from smudging, so in between each piece of paper there's also a sheet. I don't know if it's fully 16 pages in here, but I feel like it's always helpful to have paper, and I did recently make a homemade sketchbook where I used the paper from pads like this to create my own sketchbook. So that was really helpful to just have this supply of totally different stocks to use and create my own unique sketchbook. Something that came up in the comments on the last video was that the paper can seize, especially watercolour paper, which I didn't realise, but because I'm a mixed media artist it doesn't generally matter for me, but it's something to think about if you are buying paper pads and older sketchbooks online. Well there's an extra little gouache here that I hadn't seen, so there's a lemon yellow Winsor & Newton designer's gouache. These usually go for like four to five pound each, so the fact that this is all just in there loose is incredible value. Okay, <laughs> if you saw the last one, you'll know I already have a ton of these. There are some more of the Artists and Illustrators magazine. This magazine is still going, but these are all old issues from the 1990s, so 1992, 1989, 92 again, 91. So pretty old, but I like flicking through these, and then I'll probably pass them on. I wonder if they could be used for collage in schools. But there's usually some interesting tutorials in here and they're just fun to look through and pick up any techniques. Obviously, like I said, I do learn from YouTube nowadays, but always fun to look through these and there's a stack of these. So that's probably where a lot of the postage came from, is from the weight of these magazines. We've got some Hannah Mueller fine art paper here. This is there and a Lucha paper. Hannah Mueller is a great brand. I have heard lots of good things about them, but I've not actually used them, but I do have another sketch pad like this. Again, that I've ripped up from my homemade sketchbook, but this is their watercolour paper. It's 500 GSM, so it's 230 pounds with 12 sheets in here. So really, really thick. And it is a block, so generally you'll paint, it will keep it nice and taut, and then you sort of slice it off to get the paper free. But it means you can do a lot of really wet media and water washes on here, so I wouldn't use this for like sketchbooks because it is so thick, but really helpful if I was going to use a lot of water and practice my watercolour blending and some watercolour effects. We've got some more smaller watercolour pads, so we've got this one which is a Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolour pad, 10 by 7 inches. Yeah, this is a pad, so it's just glued at the top and you can tear them out. Really, really thick paper. It might be seized paper, but I haven't found that on the other ones when I've taken them out and made my travel sketchbook. And you can test them beforehand, but generally you won't know if they are seized until you use them. But for me, when I'm using like acrylics and stuff, that won't be an issue. It's mostly when you're using watercolour. So Winsor & Newton, which is a great brand, and then we've got Wattman, which is an acid-free 100% rag content watercolour paper. This is also 10 by 7 it's got a lovely roughness and thickness, so again I think that would be useful for watercolour. And this is a block, so it is sealed on all sides, and then you cut it free. So again, another useful thing to have, and helpful for those experiments. Oh my goodness, these are heavy. Okay, we've got two books here. We've got The Art of Landscape and Seascape Painting. Now, uh, when was this? This feels quite old. 1989. So, quite an old one, but I mean, these techniques are like age old, aren't they? So I feel like there's some good tips in here. And I feel like this is a good plug for my book because <laughs> I've also got loads of things in my book that's coming out next March which is talking about mixed media, so it's got things in terms of talking about mediums and showing how to use them, and then loads of projects in as well. So don't buy this book, buy my book. I'm going to leave a link to the pre-order down below. If you've already pre-ordered, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate your support. And um, the pre-orders really help the big wigs to show what people are interested in and to continue like funding the creative industry when it comes to books. So I will leave a link down in the description box. And then we've also got... The Ultimate Book of Drawing, Essential Skills, Techniques and Inspiration for Artists. This is chunky, so although I'd love to give this away, I feel like the postage will be really, really high. But this feels like one of those um, books that are recommended by art teachers, so I think this will be helpful if I pass it on to a school for them to put in their library. Okay, there are two more paper pads in the bottom of that box. This one's interesting. This is loose, I presume, um, 
comes in this little folder. It isn't white, so it does look like ivory paper. £140 rough watercolour paper. So 100% cotton, aquarelle. This is Lana Mill, which I haven't heard of that brand before. Oh, it's Winsor & Newton. Hmm. Huh. I haven't heard of Lana Mill, but this is um, six sheets. So not many, but a really good size. I feel like it would be a shame to cut that down. But again, paper is always handy, and I feel like I'm going to have enough paper for the rest of my life. I'm going to have enough art supplies for the rest of my life. And then we've got De La Rowney. So this is De La A series. This is their A3 spiral bound sketchbook. I used to use things like this in college when I was doing my A levels. So again, this is the sort of paper that I do tear out and cut down because I don't generally like to use uh, spiral bound sketchbooks. So I feel like that's just handy to have lots of different paper and I feel like I can tear that up and make smaller sketchbooks from. What I'm about to show you is basically why I wanted this lot or the first lot I think this is with all of the gouache. So let's talk about the prices of general designers gouache. So a set of 10, I've looked it up for a Winsor Newton, is about 38, 40 pounds. So it's expensive. So let me show you what I've got here, which again, I feel like it's going to be so handy for the retreat and to share this with the artist who will be hopefully coming with us. So I have got, let me show you, six of these. So you can see the design of the packaging is very retro, but these look unused because they are in their like cellophane packaging and they do all feel a little bit squishy. So these are all the introductory sets. So you can still buy these now with Windsor & Newton Designers Garage, but obviously the packaging is very different. But these are all 14 mil tubes. We've got lemon yellow, spectrum yellow, spectrum red, alizarin crimson, spectrum violet, ultramarine, sky blue, brilliant green, ivory black, and zinc white. So a really good range of colors there. You can mix so many different colors from just these ones. And obviously you've got the primaries and then the variations. So I'm really, really impressed by the fact that these were included and for such a good price as well. Even when you count everything else, this is such a bargain. So. I've got this gouache and then there's also some other ones, so let me show you those. Oh, there's another one. Six of these. So these are also Winsor & Newton, but as you can see, totally different packaging. But again, it's the introductory set. So we've got 10 14 mil tubes in here as well. Let's open one of these up to see. Again, they're brand new in their packaging. The cellophane plastic's still on. The exact same colours, but I do go through gouache a lot and I like to buy them second hand. But I only have two hands, and this will literally set me for life having all of this gouache. But I do want to take it with me on the retreat. I feel like it will be really helpful to just have a lot of gouache to hand. And as I said, it is my go-to medium. So I'm also going to keep a couple back for giveaway, so I can give away some of these sets. But I'm so chuffed to see that these are all brand new, that they all seem to be in really good nick. And the fact that there are 12 sets of this gouache, 10 tubes, Let's do some quick maths. So if they're £40 each for a set of this introductory gouache, then this, this is £480 that I've got in my lap and on my table right here, which is incredible. So I feel like these two lots have 1000% been worth it, especially because I can share that with people on the retreat and I can give this away and share the love. And also I love this whole experience of unboxing things and sharing it with you. But as I said, this is probably the last one I need because I'm running out of space and I only have two hands. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoy seeing what I buy from the auction houses. I really do recommend buying secondhand when it comes to art supplies, but there is obviously that caveat that you might not know what you're getting and you will get set. So I feel like it's a good way to try things out, but there might be some things that you don't use. In which case, I really recommend carrying on the cycle and passing them on to artists who do want to give them a go. So I'm going to end this video here because I have got gouache balanced on my lap and the studio needs another clean. What a surprise. It always needs tidying. But thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you to my patrons for their support who allow me to create these videos every week. I've talked about a couple of things which I will leave linked below, which is pre-ordering my book and also the art retreat, which is in Portugal next May. So if you're interested, then the spaces are limited. So I definitely recommend getting in quick and I'll leave a link to that and all of the details and the itinerary down below too. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next Sunday in my new YouTube video. See you later.